Hello everyone and welcome to another quick look video. I am Maunus and I am joined here by... Yes. Dory! And we are talking about the GT62 VR, yeah. which is this little beauty right here. Yeah. And I say little even though it looks kind of big because of what is inside this little beast. So run us through it. Tell us what's inside this powerful little gaming machine. Uh, first of all, it's a 1070. Now, it doesn't say a, a GTX 1070M, even though I know it's the mobile version because they cannot physically fit the desktop version it in there. It has to be the mobile version. So... That's what I'm going with. Uh, it also has uh, a very nice uh, processor from Intel. It's yeah. the uh, what, what uh, it's exact number 6820. Is. Yeah, uh, which is a m much more powerful processor than what you would the 6700 uh, yeah. series, which you normally find. And it's the 6820K, so made for overclocking. Yeah, uh, so basically supposedly made, uh, uh, about 10 percent better than yeah. the 6700. So basically, like designed for graphical p uh, performance more than anything. Yes. Uh, so pr pretty, pretty sweet already there. So like the uh, GTX 1070 and a very powerful new like. Uh, Processor. So, what about the RAM? We should uh, go through that as well. Yep, you got it right there. It's 32 yeah, 30, gigabytes of yeah. DDR4 RAM. So, already here, we're coming up on a pretty powerful machine, I gotta say. So, also in terms of uh, hard drives, you get two, like which is pretty standard fare these days. Yep. But you do get a 512 uh, gigabyte SSD as well as a terabyte, like regular uh, SATA hard yeah, drive and also, as well. So. And also, that uh, SSD is, like you said, it's 500 gigabyte, but it's an M2, so it's plugged directly into the motherboard. Yeah. Um, just sits there and... Um, so also... Very big uh, yeah. in, in terms of storage. Yeah. For what you so what get. about the screen? Um, it's an, uh, I'm pretty sure it is an... Uh, like an I mean, I it's a 4K screen, but that's just about... Yeah, but IP, like, also, like, this is standard also, but it is nice to have it. It's an IPS 4K panel, so expect like very clear colors and also displayed in 4k and the machine is ready to run 4k as well so you're with this actual laptop you're pretty much set up both screen wise and power wise to game in 4k yeah it also has of course it has hdmi out and display port out yeah. so you can have two screens yeah making it three in total yeah so there's a bunch of cool things happening like uh when you open it up as well if we can get the clear start here. One thing uh, you will notice is the Dyna Audio uh, little logo in the top left corner, which of course suggests that this is made, uh, the speakers is made by the uh, Danish company Dyna Audio, which are ren uh, like known throughout the uh, audio business to be of very high quality. So that's a good stamp of approval right yeah. there. There's a bunch, uh, there's three special buttons here in the top right corner. Run is to change the Steel Series uh, backlighting yeah. on the keyboard. There is one for to start X Split like games casting yeah, for for broadcasting your yes. your, your own oh, gameplay because why wouldn't you and the last one is for the cooling so what is that yeah that uh, basically boots up all the cooling that's inside the machine it goes full blown mental and cools it down of yeah. course great for when you are indeed overclocking uh, your components very much so and speaking actually of the cooling maybe if you can uh, lift this up for me a little bit yeah can you want me to uh, do just, do like this yes, yeah just straight up like that yeah and i want to show you like the bottom here, there's enough light. I can do this yeah, maybe. Yeah. Just Look at this cooling power. Yeah, and, and you have all these little uh, knobs here that uh, raise the computer. Up yeah. And then just. So it has up. the. You mean because it's raised, it has and the also space. Just lift it straight up just to see the, uh, the thickness of it. Just oh, yeah. This. I mean, this is. Cons so. Considering what we just said that. Yes. Of that thing, that's. Uh, so, like, the, it comes in, it clocks in, like, weight-wise, it clocks in at about three kilograms, which is a lot if you're used to carrying it around a MacBook Air, but for something this powerful that you can utilize to so many, like, gaming habits, like VR, we'll get to that, and, like, the most powerful the performances in the very best of games, I don't think three kilograms is all that much, to nope. be honest, and the thickness of it, I mean, you could squeeze that into, like, a regular... L uh, laptop like carrying case or bag without without any hitches so yeah now uh, considering it's a laptop we should uh, speak about the battery and the battery life it's a uh, well regular it eight cell yeah it's an eight cell battery and we haven't had it uh, long enough here in the office to no, no. actually no, no. Uh, try it out 
That being said, though, the eight-cell battery like is a very sort of standard uh, battery used in a lot and also less powerful laptops than this. So one could presume that the battery battery life m might not be the most impressive thing about it, considering the amount of hardware yeah. inside it needs but, to but, run. But also, with as with all big gaming laptops. If you're going to be playing a game on it, yeah. you plug it into the power. You actually, are stationary when you play it yeah, anyway. The, the power so, yeah. supply is actually quite substantial yeah. this time around. Well, it requires a lot of juice yeah. to get that stuff going. But I mean, it, when you're on the go and you're using it as a laptop, um, you know, you basically can only run, you know, the... Uh, yeah, it's true. The like, smaller programs. For, for, to have it, like, as a laptop is mostly just that you could, like, from your living room, you could carry it into your bed and watch something on YouTube or whatever. It's not really, as you say, when you do game, and you do game on this, you are stationary yeah. anyway. It's just yeah. having the option there. Um, now, what I want to do is uh, I want to go quickly over the yes. benchmarks. That's that a good idea. That's here. a good idea. Uh, let's see here. Nope. So, there we go. Yeah. So, uh, we ran basically all the 3D Mark uh, benchmarks course, on this. Yes. Uh, with the Fire Strike Ultra, we click on the details here. Um, you can see we came in underneath a 4K gaming PC, yeah. which is uh, 980 and SLI configuration. That's yeah. the benchmark that they use for that. But we are above 48% of all results that have ran the. Uh, Th this test, which includes all the big stationary computers yeah. with the people that they have. And you can also see, like, in the bottom, if you compare it, it is close to being doubled the score of the minimum specs required for HTC Vive yeah. and Oculus Rift, which is, it, considering it's a laptop, it's insane. Yeah. So. Which also gets us to why there is VR in the model number, GT62VR, yeah. because this is... VR ready and yeah. then some. So this is actually something that MSI themselves put on because the same way that you have the VR ready stamp that Nvidia puts on their like uh, graphics card models and that that sort of stuff, uh, MSI has a grading system uh, like internally for their own yep. models where there is uh, VR capable models, but this is not a VR capable model. It's a VR ready model, yep. which means that without like fine tuning anything or without overclocking, this very laptop is ready for a VR headset as it comes out of the box. Yeah. So and I think then they even put like enthusiast in a, as a, in a subtitle, so it's VR yeah. ready enthusiast. You are like an if you enthusiast. are an enthusiast of VR, this will run it. Basically also stating that you need to be a VR enthusiast also to spend the extra to have something that is so powerful that it could run yeah. uh, very VR applications. One thing here about the 3D Mark study, it didn't recognize the graphics card because it's so new. Yeah. It's just, ah, graphics card not Yeah. Uh, so we should also stress that at the point where we're doing this video, this laptop does not exist, but it will when you see this video, but right now, yeah. This is so new and just come in the door. So very exciting to have it here. But I think we can no longer dance around the elephant in the room, which is, of course, what many are wondering out there. How, what, how much does this cost? Yes, and that is a doozy. It's uh, just under 3,000 euro. Yeah, so with your gaming PC knowledge, with these specs in mind, what would you say... Uh, like building a tower with these specs, how much would that cost? Would that be substantially cheaper or only slightly cheaper? It would be... You can get it quite cheaper. But here's the thing. Yeah? If you want this type of power... Yeah? And you want to be mobile... Yes. This is the only option that I can see mm. on the market right now. Because this is so much more powerful than anything that i've seen yeah. recently i mean i of course i don't know what's on the horizon uh, with the new no, uh, no. With, you know with the new uh, generation of, yeah. of, of nvidia cards they're sure to be coming but right now yeah this is like if you want to be a super have a super gaming rig and run like uh, actually let's uh, let's jump into the division here in 4k yeah let's see how that runs um so that's uh, in 4K, the division running around in about four, uh, around 48 frames, 50 frames I per second in 4K. I can't believe I'm looking at a 4K screen in a game that runs 4K in something this small. Yep. I mean, that has to be like a... The future is here, people. Yeah, yeah, but like a technological like tiger leap from what we've seen previously. So that in and of itself, I think it's very, very promising. So this is steady 30, yeah. right? Something in 4K. Yeah, it go doesn't go underneath 30. No. 
I think it looks it looks great. I mean, perhaps you would also want to like hook something like this up, like up to a larger 4K monitor, but it has the power to also sit as your like stationary PC at home. Yeah, you yeah. just run it up by the side. But you are correct in, I think, with you're paying the extra for the possibility or the opportunity for you, those are friendly. Yeah, I am. I don't care. Um, to, care to, ca to take it with you. Yeah, and, and this should be said, this is on Ultra right now in 4K. And it's insane. Dipping, it's insane it can even do that. Yeah, the <laughs> lowest that it's dipping to, I've seen right now, out here yeah. outside is 28. Yeah, so about 3,000 euros. It co the price comes in just under adjusted yeah. for like uh, s several currencies. But it I, it is a lot. But you do get a lot because there's no downsides. We, we've always had gaming laptops here where we say, well, you have the mobility, but you don't have the power. Yeah. Here is one occasion where you will have both. Yeah, I mean, in terms of the the noise levels of the cooling, yeah. it's not too loud. It does get um, a way louder when you do press the cooling button. Yeah. But that's we've also been told that's not finalized. There's some sort of like uh, software update that yeah. you need before it launches, okay. so that shouldn't be an issue when it's out. But yeah, but know, it's also just, just just so you know, we haven't fully yeah. been able to test it. But it's also a button you press when you want the extra cooling. Yeah. So it's also something like it it will of course be more noisy with the button pressed than without it, but it, it, it does give you a better chance to, like, it does give you more overclocking opportunities, that sort of stuff, so I think it is, it is pretty natural that noise levels will rise, but right now, as we record this, you playing the division with the noise button off, or like the cooling button off, I still don't think it's that bad. Like, no, I mean, the main noise here at the table is on my video mixer over yeah, here, <laughs> which is louder. louder than the laptop, which should say something, I mean, so, I, I think it's, I know that while you're watching this video and you think that the price is quite daunting, just look at like how not cumbersome this much like PC gaming rig power you get for yeah. for, for the cash. So um, it's it's a, it's a question of mindset. What do you want? Uh, if, you you, if, if you want to just set up in your office somewhere, yeah, uh, you can get this same sort of power for. Lower. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to shotgun on, on just how much, but it, like I said, if you want to be able to move around, if you yeah. want to, you know, take this to work maybe. And yeah, then, yeah. You know, th this is the option. You could actually, the funny thing is that if you go to the, the Apple store, you can get a MacBook Pro up to 2,500 euros. Yeah, we... we and, you put, and you put a lot of inferior parts compared to this here. Yeah, we, so, we don't talk about Apple here. No. So the thing is, like, if you may think that three thousand is a lot, and it is a lot, but you can you can you can get a lot less for something very close to it. So I think uh, taking into account what they've squeezed into this yeah. tiny cabinet, it, it's okay. Yeah. If, if just the parts on their own is a lot of the actual price. Yeah. If you and now, pay that. just very quickly before we we run off. Yes. Uh, of course we. One thing that I kind of forget to mention is that MSI always puts in a lot of programs. Yeah. And and they have these stable stables that they put in, like the the killer Ethernet, yeah, uh, and stuff like that. Right here we have the um, the MSI Dragon Center. This is exclusive yeah. to uh, laptops. This is basically you control everything. You have your app portal. You have system monitor, LED wizard for for the, yeah. the keyboard. You also get the, the a system the tuner if you want to yeah. you know overclock and all that. And uh, also, uh, like importantly, also you do get the MSI Afterburner program, which is like a fan control po uh, program, yep. which is one of our favorite ones here uh, at the office. And then there's also like light controls and sound software, uh, all that stuff to help you personalize what you want. And yeah. also, uh, uh, always controlled from one like basic center. So I think that it's great that they litter it with so much cool software suite. Uh, and right, right here in the Dragon Center, you have the VR ready button, so yeah. it auto detects uh, HMD and uh, optimizes system for VR. Yeah. So it's just like plug. And yeah. you put on the helmet, you're, you're in there. So basically, like, if you, if you had the HTC Vive with you, you could have a portable, like, VR setup, which I think is insane. Yep. So, uh, of course, with the HTC Vive, you would need to set up your gaming room. But, but like, in theory... Yeah, a couple of light stands. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, in theory, you yep. could have VR on the go. And I think just, like, six months ago... That was like, oh, why well, you can't do yeah. that? What are you talking about? So I think that is the most impressive. The only part thing, as well. actually, right now looking, I don't see a USB-C yes. on here. No, uh, there, like, there's. No. 
There's, there's four th USB ports, there's and three, three of them three are... There's three USB 3, and yeah, there's and a USB 2 over here. Yeah. There's maybe a, a, a bit of a, of a miss there. Yeah. Ooh, to future-proof it, I would like to have, see, have a uh, Yeah, a I can, I can understand that. There's also a card reader in it, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, like, of course. So, 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 like, all of the basic, like, commodities of, of, like, the staples of the, like, laptop, but infused with, like, the hardcore gaming power. I yeah. think that is also the goal of it, so... So there you have it. This is the yeah. MSI GT62 VR. And should be available I, I soon? I think as we put up this video or soon after. It is unveiled when we put this yep. video up. So look for it in the MSI store soon-ish. Um, and also, we're going to be sending this out directly to a reviewer. Yeah. So uh, keep your eyes out for that. Yeah. Uh, going to put it through its paces and have a written full review up soon. But that's it for us. Thanks for watching. And we will see you in the next Quick Look.